Manchester United were easily beaten by Manchester City at Old Trafford. Old Gunnar Solskjaer is not so much trapped between a rock and a hard place, but caught between two different projects. And Manchester United's 2-0 home defeat to fierce rivals Manchester City is testament to the awkward position he has now found himself in. Only Pep Guardiola's side's poor finishing prevented another Old Trafford pulverising for Solskjaer. But as they did against Liverpool, the beleaguered Reds once again took to the field like a team unaware of what stage they were in. Not even Cristiano Ronaldo, United's constant saviour, could find a way through despite his impressive first-half effort. Any suggestions of the Portuguese being responsible for the descent should be received with nothing less than a wry smile and nod. United's season would be as good as finished were it not for the former Real Madrid and Juventus man's incredible knack of finding the net when United need him most. However, his mere presence demands success and attacking guile appropriate for a player with five Ballon d'Ors. Before he returned, Solskjaer deployed his team for the 5-1 victory against Leeds United with Mason Greenwood at the spearhead, while Bruno Fernandes, Paul Pogba, and Dan James supplied the youngster. Jadon Sancho dipped his toe into the treacherous waters of Old Trafford for the first time, as James, who eventually moved to the very team United thrashed on that very day, was substituted in the second half. James was nothing more than a placeholder for Sancho, while Marcus Rashford would eventually return to the left flank so Pogba can revert back to his favoured central midfield position. At least that appeared to be the plan as Solskjaer had the wheels moving in a very promising motion. However, the surprise arrival of Ronaldo accelerated the plan at a rate very few managers could control, Greenwood, Sancho, and to a point, Rashford are still developing and perfecting their games. They are, ironically, in a very similar stage to Ronaldo when Solskjaer was a teammate rather than a manager.